Hello world, this is What's Up 290 and in today's video, I'm going to be doing a review of the Celestron Skyris USB telescope camera. This is a camera that will plug into the ice piece on your telescope and it will the the other end of it comes with a cable that will that you use to that you screw into the back side of your camera and then plug it into your computer to so that you can capture images using your sky photography software. Now this camera, it is capable of recording both video and images. Jeez. But as in when you use the, when you use the uh, ca capturing software on your computer, you can use it to either capture, it, this camera allows you to either capture videos of the planets you're looking at or just a, or just a still image. This can also take a pho photos and video of the moon. However, it is worth noting this this camera will not take videos of stars. It is not powerful enough for that. And if you purchase one of these cameras, thinking that you're going to be able to photograph star clusters with them, you're going to be disappointed. So the things that the camera comes with. One, the camera itself, obviously. Two, the connector piece to screw your, that, that attaches onto the camera so that you can actually screw something into your, screw it into your telescope eyepiece. And three, the cable that connects it to your computer. Four, it comes with a CD for the iCap software. And by the way, one thing that I should mention, the, the, the computer that this camera will work best, best with is a computer that is a laptop that is running Windows. Because keep in mind, the, the camera only works if it is plugged into the computer at the time. And also most of the software that for capturing software only runs on Windows. So I guess a Mac computer that's running a Linux virtual machine or virtual partition will work okay, will work okay too. But, no, but you definitely want a Windows laptop also because, you know, you have to carry it with you. So, yeah. This, the thing about, the thing about this camera is that it takes images from a very high resolution for a telescope. So as such, it can produce at times somewhat blurry images. However, the images you can get are also very cool to look at. The, the price of this camera is about $100 to $150, and I will have the link to purchase one of these on my from Celestron on my website. Keep in mind, you need to choose one that fits, that is the same size as your telescope eyepiece. Because if you order one that's a different size than your telescope eyepiece, what's going to happen is you're going to get it, and then it's not going to fit with your telescope, and you won't be able to use it as a result. But anyway, now I'm going to go ahead and show you some photos I've taken using this camera over the past couple of months. And then after that, I'm going to end the video. So that's about it. This is What's Up 290, and I'm signing off. Have a nice day, and I'll see you next video.